man in charge of Incarnate Word Football. The Cardinals hired 67-year-old Larry Kennan a month ago, and I tell you what, they are lucky to have him. He's been at every level in football, high school, college, the pros for 45 years, even won the Super Bowl with the Raiders back in the early 80s, and the coach joins me in the studio, Larry Kennan, Coach Kennan. It is. Thank yes, you sir. very much for being here. I know 60 is the new 40, and you are young at heart, you're young in body, but let me ask you this. You had a great gig with the NFL, 10 years as the executive director of the Coaches Association. Why in the world would you trade that kind of a gig to get back into the racket of coaching football? Because what I am is a teacher. I love teaching young people. I'm you know, in my job as the executive director on weekends, and when I could, I worked with young quarterbacks to get them ready and to play and, and make them better, and I love the teaching part of it. I love recruiting. I, I love the whole part of, of football, and, uh, and I'm really looking forward to this. Your son was part of the staff uh, under Mike Santiago, and as I understand it from you, the entire staff is coming back. They went 2-8 and eight last year. What do you see, and how quickly of a turnaround... Can you IWF football have here? Robert. Well, the president said at our banquet last night or two nights ago that we were going to have a winning record next year. So, I'm, and, and I don't judge how we're doing on the record, and I'm not going to make any predictions about how we're going to do win, wins and losses. What I know is we're going to have we're going to work them as hard as they've ever worked, and we're going to have more fun than they've ever had. You hired an ex Navy SEAL as part of your staff. Is that? Is yeah, that he right? was the one guy from outside that I hired. And, and I've been one to hire for a long time. He's a dear friend, and, and what a great opportunity to, to hire a Navy SEAL in a military town. What's his job? He's going to be the special teams coach. Oh, my and, goodness. And the pass rush coach. <laughs> Joseph Sadler apparently uh, has decided to sign with you guys. I know rules prohibit you from talking until after it's official on signing day, but how heavily will you guys recruit in South Texas from now going forward? Well... As I told the guys in our first meeting, that San Antonio area is our number one priority. We're going to we're going to make every good player in this area tell us no at least once, and we're going to go after the very best players in this area because we need the local area. And then we'll expand, and we're going to Dallas and, and Houston and, and, and out toward West Texas. You alluded earlier to some of your time with some of the young quarterbacks, some of the great quarterbacks in the NFL. Guys playing this weekend: Alex Smith, T.J. Yates, Eli Manning. You have tutored those guys. What's it been like for you to sit back the last couple of weeks and watch all of your, for lack of a better word, pupils have such success? Well, it's, it's really been fun. And Drew Brees to that. Drew Brees. And, and Tony Romo, I wish you'd have been in the playoffs, as a lot of us do down here. And uh, it's really fun to watch them. You know, uh, TJ had a hard day today with a lot of the Baltimore Ravens make a lot of quarterbacks look real average. And, and uh so I, I, did, I get tickled when I see Drew Brees play and I see Eli play and Alex Smith, particularly Alex, because he's gone through having seven coordinators in seven years and playing on bad teams and people rolling him off as a bust. And I kept defending him and telling people he was a good player and he's certainly shown that. Everybody has criticism of Tony Romo, it seems like, this day and age. What do you think he needs to do to take Dallas and the Cowboys and that whole organization into the playoffs and kind of back where fans think they belong. You know, Tony's a really, really fine quarterback. He has wonderful mechanics, and, and he's, a, he's a good leader. Uh, he's a very extremely talented guy. If I were to make any minor suggestion to him, tell, I, I'd tell him to have a little better body language. You know, uh, it's about perception in this business. You know, and if the head coach or the quarterback or the defensive coordinator kind of look down, then people take away from that and, and they maybe look down a little bit and, and uh, but other than that that uh, Tony Romo's fabulous shoulders back shoulders back Sh sit up and straight up. absolutely my posture is not being good Larry Cannon head football coach at Incarnate Word go knocking on those doors make those Cardinals relevant yes, again good luck next season thank you all right coming up your vote on who's going to win the final four in That's the great. NFL